In this video, I want to show you how to do some very powerful functions that are called sum if, count if, and average if. What they allow you to do is conditional sums or conditional counts or a conditional average. Let's say in this particular spreadsheet, we have over 200 transactions. And I know some of you have much larger spreadsheets than that. Now, let's say I only want to sum up the ones that are dinner only, okay? I just want to sum up the ones that are dinner only. So actually, in cell H4, I'll type in the word dinner. That's going to be my criteria. Now, we're going to start a new function. So once again, we'll use the function builder. I'll type in equals. Click on the FX. And then I'm going to type in the word sum. And then click on OK. And actually, you'll see there's a couple sums. But the sum if is the one that I'm looking for. It says as the cell specified by a given condition or a criteria. I'll click on OK. Now the range is a range of um, a range of data. So in this case, it's going to be column F. Column F is where I'm looking for the the information. Now the criteria is what I'm looking for. Now that's why I had typed in the word dinner in H2. So I'm going to click where it says criteria. And then I'll click on cell H2 where I have the word dinner. Now the sum range, even though it's optional, I can tell it's optional because it's in light black like that. Even though it's optional, I'm still going to use it. The sum range means when I find the ones that are dinner in column um, F, what other column do I want to add up for those corresponding rows? So for the sum range, you typically would pick a, a column or a row of numbers. Uh, in this case, I'll pick column E. So for my range, I'm looking at column F. That's where I'm looking for the information. My criteria is what I'm looking for. I have that in cell H4, as you can see, for a dinner. And then some range, I have column E. That's the number I want to add up when I find the appropriate rows. So I'll click on OK. Now, it says equals sum if. That's a function, right? Sum if, open parentheses, F colon F, which means column F, comma H4. That's the criteria, comma E colon E, that's the number I want to add up, close parentheses. Now, the way I did that, check it out. I can uh, type in lunch here, and notice how the number in I4 will change, because now this formula is pointing to H4, so when H4 changes, then I4 will also recalculate. So now, I'm getting some great results out of my data. Now I can get the sum for to, uh, hotel or breakfast just by changing the criteria. That's called a sum if. There's one that's called count if. How many hotel items were there? So I'm going to say equals. I'll pick on the FX again. I'm going to type in the word count here and pick on go. Now I see one that's called count if. You can always go through and see what these other ones do and then pick on help and see what they actually do. See how to use them. Uh, so I'll pick on uh, count if and click on OK. Notice how this one only has two parameters or two functional arguments, but it's the same first two as the other one. So the range is still column F, and the criteria is still going to be where I have the word hotel in H4. So I clicked on cell H4. So now this formula says equals count if, open parentheses, F colon F, comma H4, close parentheses. Give me a physical count. How many hotel items are there? So now, if I change H4, which I change it back to dinner, both of those numbers are going to change. This is the sum of all the dinner items for the sum if, and this is the count. How many dinner items are there? Uh, notice how they're pointing to cell H4. Well, guess what? There's also one that's called an average if. Equals. Click on the FX. Like an average, or you can even type an average if. So I'll type an average. But see, there's other average ones in there. So you should really look through these and see what, what the difference is between the average. And uh, you can look at the description, or you can look at the help over here. I'm going to click on average if and click on OK. Uh, so the range is still going to be column F. That's where the data is. The criteria is what I'm looking for. I'm still looking for that word in H4. So I'll click on H for the, for the criteria, and the average range is the same as the sum range. It's going to be a column or a row of numbers. So now the formula says equals average if, open parentheses, F colon F, comma H4, comma E colon E, close parentheses. 
So that means take an, you know, what's the average of the dinner items? So if I change that to hotel, all three of those numbers will change because all three of those functions are pointing to cell H4, as we can see. Okay, so we have the sum if, the count if, and the average if. Now, in Excel 2007, they allowed you to go a little bit further in 2010 and 2013 also. Uh, now you can add more than one criteria. Now you can go as many as you wanted to. But when you add more than one criteria, you have to then change the function to be sum ifs or count ifs or average ifs. I'm just writing these down so you can look up in your health screen as well. Then they added these new ones, sum ifs, count ifs, and average ifs. So for the sum if, well, let's come back over here. Let's say equals sum ifs. When you put an s at the end, that means you can do multiple criteria. So in this case, let me actually do it the way that I was just showing you, which is the, uh, the fx. Uh, I'm going to type in sum. And now I see one that's called sum ifs. So I'll click on OK. All right, the sum range. Uh, now, actually, the sum range is going to be column E. So now the, the parameter is going to be in different order than before. The sum range is now first. I'll highlight column E. The criteria range 1 is the first set of criteria, which is really column, or the first range, which is um, column F still. And the first criteria is still H4. Now, the whole point of the sum ifs is where we can do multiple conditions. So, as many as you wanted to. So, now I have a second criteria range. The second criteria range will be column B, where I have the countries. Then the second criteria is going to be H5, or in other words, France. Now, you can keep on going. You can do uh, as many conditions as you wanted to, really. But this will make the point that I'm trying to make. So, the sum range, I have column E. That's going to be the column of row or row of numbers. The criteria range 1 is the first range that you're looking at, and criteria 1 is the first actual criteria. Criteria range 2 is the second range that you're looking at, and then criteria 2 is the second criteria. So I'm going to click on OK here. Look at this function. It says equals sum ifs, open parentheses, E colon E, comma, F colon F, comma, H4, comma, B colon B, comma H5, close parentheses. That means they have to be breakfast and France at the same time, and then add those up. So if I change breakfast up here to lunch, all four of those numbers are going to change, because they're all looking at cell um, H4. If I change the word France, only that one number is going to change, because only this one is actually looking at the country as well. So this number is really a subset of this bigger number. These are all the lunch items, and these are the only lunch items from Germany. So now we saw sum if, count if, and average if. Put an S at the end of each one of those, and we have sum ifs, count ifs, and average ifs. You can find all of those under your help windows as well.